Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going over everything that I purchased in or received in the month of September and starting off I have an order from Planner Pixie Co as well as Caress Press. So I guess I will just start with the largest items first or the larger order and that is Planner Pixie Co. So Planner Pixie Co has some printables in her shop and she usually, I mean correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I've noticed she has every kit that she releases both in like printer format like or printed format you know like a normal kit that you'd get in the mail or printable and I decided to purchase her printables because I love the format I love her pricing you can get a whole kit for four dollars which is great so I decided to purchase a fall festival as you can see I haven't cut it yet and my printer is running out of ink so I didn't even get to print everything I noticed that the colors looked a little more muted and toned down as opposed to what it looked like on on screen which obviously colors can change depending on printer settings and you know so on and so on but I just thought it looked a little muted and then when I got to this page as you can see it straight up just ran out of ink so this page I'm definitely going to reprint these pages I'm just going to keep as is and then whenever I reprint it and get new ink um Whatever the coloring looks like, I'm just going to mix them all together because I just I don't want to waste ink and or paper. So this is Fall Festival. It's the full kit as normal. Like her printables are the same size and same everything as her physical format. And I got this kit because one, love the coloring, but two, I got it to go with this foil. It is rose gold or rather rose from Caress Press. It is a fall theme and I just wanted a kit to go with it so I picked this one up it was kind of a two birds with one stone situation and then the other items I got were physical items and foil well this was the freebie it was the August freebie it has like as you can see pumpkin fall um themed there and then I got her new foil so she had been not selling foil for a while because she was having issues with the paper and then the foiling quality and so on but she finally opened back up and is now offering new colors as well as like a new paper and everything and from what I understand from her new release video she's more or less starting from scratch which is where this comes in and I'll get that to in a second but here is her like sampler um, so I'm just going to flip through. I already reordered them in the, in the order that makes sense to me. So when you get them, they won't be in this order, but I love having the samplers. Cause obviously like if you already have a kit in hand, you can kind of hold these up and figure out what works best. And I think they're just so cute and I can tell this paper is pretty thick. I can't, I haven't peeled it off yet. I, so I can't tell if it's the paper that's like the, actual paper itself that's thick or if it's just the backing that's super thick but either way love these and I love her font too I wish shop, I don't understand why but I wish shop shared them because I love this font and then the, she's mentioned that the glitter because her the size that she chose for the sample was smaller than the whole spread of the rainbow she split it up into two so when you order it you'll get two rainbow samplers just to make sure you get the full rainbow and I just love how it came in this itty bitty cute cello so I'm going to keep it in that and keep it stored in here but I just I appreciate how cute and small this cello is and then because she's kind of starting from scratch so that everything in the shop is the new paper the new foil so on and so on she's offering these grab bags which is I don't I think there's like a mixture of misfit and like good items but again because she wanted everything to be cohesive she decided to just put all of her foil stock into a grab bag um just again to get rid of it and whatnot so I'm pretty sure all of these if not most are like perfect condition which is great so I'm just going to go through them here I haven't looked at these yet as you can see I opened the bag but here is September in silver. Yeah. October in this light purple. Oh, this was a June freebie and like this pink hollow. It looks like a summer 
themed, the smiley face double box headers in this blue hollow. Um, scripts, which looks like sun, shine like the stars. I don't know what the theme is for these quotes, but it's blue hollow. Fall quotes in sparkly red, or I think what she calls it is pixie. So pixie red. Weekend slash Sunday stuff um, in purple or lavender maybe is what she calls it. Overlays like these star banner overlays in silver. In green foil. Um, I, I don't know the theme, but just different quotes. Christmas quotes in or in overlays in hollow. More Christmas in sparkly gold. I'm not sure what, maybe pixie gold is what she calls it. Like nautical, beachy type quotes in gold. Rainbow, sparkly, hollow. Sparkly silver hollow, I think is what she calls it. Washi overlays. These Christmas wa washi overlays in blue hollow silver confetti type stuff in silver I already said that and then blue hollow tall box like flying airplane theme so all of that was ten dollars I think I will keep most of it some of it like I don't use I don't plan on monthly spreads so these will go away or these I'll donate but most of the other stuff I believe I will keep so that that is a great deal I just love grab bag and last but not least is the, which month? September Mystery from Caress Press. And it is this travel themed. And this is in her new newest format, I believe. And it, like I said, it's like this travel theme. It does have Italy here. And then like there's like a Vespa and stuff. But I think this could really work with any European city kind of. As long as you... if. You use it for a European city that's not in Italy. You can just not use this box and it'll be fine. Because uh, that's the only box, I believe, other than like the Vespa theme. But even Vespa, I think, is like European, not necessarily Italian. So, yeah. So here is the kit. I love the colors. I wish they were a little brighter. I'm not the biggest fan of pastel kits, but it is still a cute kit nonetheless. And then it comes with the freebie the add-on washi strip because her washi is not cut and then this other freebie that comes with extra skin tones for one of the this box right here and then her subscription or yeah also comes with a foil bundle and this one is in the glimmer pattern and it's in I don't know if you can kind of see it it's in this like really light blue which I think is the perfect pairing to go with this kit however it's not themed it's just like a glimmer normal theme it is in her newest um uh, what's it called format so instead of just the eight full box or the eight box overlays you have an additional four and then the headers are on this page the bottom washi deco date numbers scripts icons and then the bougie boxes so this one isn't necessarily themed with this kit because sometimes she does match the theme of the, the foil to the theme of the kit. This time it is not. So I think until I'm ready to use the... Oops. Oh no, it got stuck. Dang it. I think it's still okay. Okay, so um, until I'm ready to use the kit I don't think I'm going to keep like store the foil with the spread but if I end up using it then before I use this separately then I'll pair them together but otherwise I think I'm just going to wait for like a travel type uh foil bundle I don't know why that was so difficult now, because I like to kind of match the foil bundles, both in color and theme, to the kits I'm using. But like I said, if one doesn't come out by the time I'm ready to use this kit, and if I haven't used this one yet, I will pair them together. Because I think this blue is, like, the perfect blue with this kit. It matches this Vespa color, like, so closely. So I think that's a great pairing. 
And the last portion of this haul includes something that I forgot to include in the last clip from Planner Pixie Co. Once More with Love, Scoba Prince Co. Mystery, and then Planner Hannah. So let's just start with this one. This is Oak Avenue from Planner Pixie Co. It is a another printable that I purchased from her, and I completely forgot to include it in the last clip because I don't even know if I had... I did have it printed, but I didn't have it cut. I believe or may I don't know I can't remember either way I forgot to include it so I wanted to include it here and again my printer was a little wonky so the coloring is a little off like I online and even in other hauls that I've seen of this kit either both from Planner Pixico and from other shops this like maroony color is a lot darker and like these colors are more vibrant so I don't know what's going on with my printer but either way I printed it. I'm using it. It's not going to go to waste. So I just wanted to include that here. And then I guess I'll just go in the order that I received them. So this is the School of Prince Co. October 22 mystery. It is like a winter wonderland type theme. This is Darcy Art. I can't even remember the last time SBC has used Darcy Art for her mysteries. So it's nice to see that again. So I'll just quickly flip through. It is the new mystery format from SBC. And as you can see, I've already kind of reworked it um, or reordered it, I should say. So that is the mystery. And then the foil bundle that comes with it is a, is it sparkly hollow or is it just hollow? It's sparkly hollow snow format and as you can see it's just those normal two pages so i'm just gonna redo this the bottom washi page the scripts and icons and then the underlays and the underlay she did a snow pattern as well not just like the confetti or whatever it's called and i think with this one i'm just gonna while it is a basic snow like winter bundle I think I am just going to keep it with this one I'm ugh, I'm debating whether I want to keep them together or not because again this is a basic snow it will go with pretty much any winter kit especially with the hollow the like pixie hollow sparkly hollow whatever you want to call it I think it just adds so much to it so I think actually I'm just going to keep it separate for now and then I will add to it if I I get to this kit before I use that bundle, I will add to it. Otherwise, I will use it for something else. And this one, I think snow would be great, but I also kind of want to incorporate like butterflies into it because there's a lot of those elements in the art. And I think one of the patterns. Oh, it doesn't. Never mind. I thought one of the patterns had butterflies. Maybe it's the bottom washi. Nope. Anyway, there are butterflies repeated in the elements. So. I think I want to kind of mix it with both snow and butterflies when I end up using that one. Up next is a small order from Once More With Love. I was running out of some of the um, oops, character stickers that I use. So I decided to stock up as well as pick up some new seasonal items. So this is the journaling card. It says, once you choose hope, anything is possible. Super cute. And then I guess I'll just go in order here. So first is the freebie, which is the September freebie, which is super cute. I got some laptops for work. And then these are the seasonal items that I got. So I got the Halloween deco. Oops. Uh, Halloween costumes 4.0 I just thought it would be cute because you got very basic um, Halloween characters so you know you have mummy vampire Frankenstein the witch and just like a scarecrow so I thought those were very basic and I could use pretty much in any Halloween theme spread Hocus Pocus 2.0 since Hocus Pocus just came out and I rewatched it and plus I watch Hocus Pocus like basically every year so I thought I or these would come in handy and then now moving on to the Disney ones I got, If I Didn't Have You, which is Monsters, Inc. I'm planning to use a Monsters, Inc. kit. It's like the Monsters, Inc. I think it's called Scare School. It's a few years old. 
I used it when I defended my proposal and I'm going to read use it when I defend my, oh no, I didn't do it when I defended my proposal. I did it when I did took my qualifying exams, but I'm going to reuse it when I take, or when I defend my dissertation because I thought it was fitting. So I got these for that. And really anytime I watch Monsters Inc. or Monsters University. And then I got Flower Gleaming Glow, which is from Tangled. And I realized right after I purchased it that I actually already own this sheet because I already have a kit, like a Tangled theme kit that I want to use. So this is going straight into the giveaway pile, but that's okay. And then I got some conference calls because I actually ran out of the stickers, so I needed to replace them. I got Cruise 2.0 since I am planning to go on a cruise for my bachelorette party, so I just picked that up now. I got these sea creatures because we went to an aquarium recently and we go to the beach. Well, we try to go to the beach and I just love aquariums. So that's why I picked up these sea creatures to use for that. And then same with this for the zoo animals. Um, for whenever we go to the zoo, I thought this would be good to have. So that is my order from Once More With Love. And then last but not least, here is my order from Planet Hannah. So as always, you get the freebie journaling card, the freebie, which I forgot. I completely forgot. It was during a sale, so I got the promote or the discount, but I completely forgot to put someone's name in the notes to get their freebie. So this is just the all orders freebie, which is an Avril Lavigne quote, and it has a few items. But this, I don't like this foil. It's, I forgot what she calls it, but it's like, it's a mixture of silver, black, and matte bronze or something. Maybe a gold. I don't know. I'm, I call it oil slick because that's what I think it looks like. And one, I don't like the foil. And two, this one is so messy with the way the foil worked that I wouldn't really use it. So this is going straight into my giveaway pile at least. Okay. And then I did get a few sheets. So I'll just go in order here. So the first one is the Supernatural Quotes in Silver that I got to use with a Supernatural kit for Colton's birthday. And then I got some book items. So I got the headers, the bottom washi, and then the underlays all in unicorn. Because this one I am using for like with like a spring. I forgot what the kit is actually called, but it's like a springtime book nook reading bookstore type theme kit so I thought the unicorn would go well with that I got two yeah two Thanksgiving ones in matte bronze so I got the Thanksgiving washi overlays and then the Thanksgiving overlays again in matte bronze to use for my Thanksgiving kit which is going to be a very I forgot what the kit is called it's going to be a Franken kit but the full boxes are from Glam Planner I forgot what the kit I think it was called Thankful. Either way, it was a very neutral kit. So I thought the matte bronze would work well with that. And then last but not least, I stocked up on some Harry Potter ones. These are the Wizard 3 overlays. Every time I purchase, or at least every time there's a sale, I pick up the next one. Um, just because I love Harry Potter and I love hoarding anything having to do with Harry Potter. So I got it in all four core foils and... Yeah, these will just be added to my collection. So that is all for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.